you are going to have a more pronounced version of the problem that everybody has, which is you want to squat with your back angle vertical because in your mind and in everybody else's mind, there is a picture of the back angle like this. The back angle is vertical. Everybody wants to squat with this kind of a back angle because the picture in your little brain from looking at the magazines in the grocery store and every other exposure you've had to this is that the back angle is vertical. The picture is a front squat, all right? You've been told by everybody that thinks they're entitled to an opinion about this that a horizontal back angle will shear your back, right? Everybody's heard that. Does everybody know why that's not right? Everybody understands that's bullshit, right? You can't do this to your back. What we have to do is use a horizontal enough back angle that we can have access to our hips, the hip musculature, the hip extensors, what's called the posterior chain when we squat. We're gonna have access to your quads accidentally, right? Because the quads extend the knees and anytime you stand up out of the bottom of the squat, your knees are extending. But if you reduce the moment arm on the back by making the angle vertical, as we discussed in the back, then you reduce the use of the muscle mass that operates that posterior moment arm, and we want to work it so we can get it strong, so we can strengthen the back, so we can make the back learn to act as an efficient transmitter of force, all right? So that you can't hurt your back out there, because that's where you hurt your back, not in here, okay? So, what we're going to do is beat out of you the idea that this is the back angle. This is the back angle for the squat, all right? To you, Zach, it's gonna feel like you're doing a good morning, but you're not. You're not at all doing a good morning because a good morning involves a variation in the back angle as the loading mechanism. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna establish what to you will feel like a relatively horizontal back and then we're gonna maintain it all the way down and all the way back up. Okay. The only change in that will be the initial little hip drive out of the bottom mm -hmm. that will be visible to your coach and everybody watching this squat as a little tiny drive of the hips up first. Mm -hmm. That will result in a two or three degree deviation in back angle as you come up out of the bottom, but it will not be a good morning. It cannot be a good morning, okay? Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do when we learn how to squat, we are going to learn without the bar. We learn the squat without the bar, all right? The bar is a variable that we will add after we have done this initial little learning thing that we're going to do right here that's going to teach you how to operate your hips to move the bar up and down. Okay, so take a, take a stance facing me on this, face me. Now I want you to take a picture of that stance with your giant brain, all right? The giant iPhone okay. here. That is your stance, okay? okay. Now, swap down, good. Now, why don't you take your elbows, and I want you to hold your knees out. Now, I want everybody to look at this from, from the front. <clears throat> Do you see that Zach has got his knees outside his feet? Okay. Now, what do we actually want? We want... A, a straight alignment. We don't want valgus knees and we don't want varus knees. We want a neutral knee. And that's gonna occur right in there, all right? So put your elbows inside your thighs and just hold that position. This idea helps hold the knees parallel to the feet, but it also does another thing. I want you to look at this. If his elbows were not inside the knees, where would his back angle be? 
It'd be more vertical, wouldn't it? Right? So this is one way to pull the back into the correct angle to squat with. We don't want a vertical, a vertical back. We want a more horizontal back. And if I've got his elbows down that low, then his back is going to be more likely to be in the right back angle. And he's been doing this, and uh, his low back is nice and flat here. A lot of people that we're going to teach the squat will show a low back inflection right here. We're not really worried about that right now because that's easy to fix when we get the bar on the back. Okay? This is terribly critical to this method that you stay in the hips. You get in the hips by assuming this horizontal back angle. In fact, what we're going to tell him here when he takes the bar out of the rack to squat it is to point your nipples at the floor. Everybody knows where their nipples are, right? Everybody knows where the floor is. This is a way to make you do this as quickly as possible when we start the squat. Get in this position. Once again, this is going to be the thing that you guys have the greatest amount of trouble with is committing to the more horizontal back angle. Because everybody thinks this is the squat. You've got to beat that out of your head. 